feel an anointing on that. I feel the Holy Ghost on that. After all that hell had thrown at me, I'm still standing here. Come on, I'm not gonna back down. Somebody touch somebody, tell them I am not backing down. The Wall Street Journal says 70% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. That means if you count 10 houses on your street, seven of them have too much month left at the end of the money. We had $35,000 in debt prior to FPU. I was always of the mindset, live in debt, die in debt. We were sick of being broke, living paycheck to paycheck. When you've got $10,000 cash in the bank for that emergency fund, you got no payments anywhere but a house payment, that's starting to feel pretty good, isn't it? We have paid off everything since going through FPU. We're in debt free. So. I've gotten from being in debt to out of debt, and now I'm just starting to save and figure out how and where to put my money. The program is, has brought us together significantly. Financial Peace University will teach you the principles to transform your life. Sign up today. Get on the road to financial peace with Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University. Free preview at Victory World Outreach Center, Monday, December 1st at 7 o'clock. Call 859-624-3553 for more information. Join Pastors Philip and Debbie Holman for 10 exciting days on their 11th anniversary tour of Israel 2009, March 16th through the 25th, and extension tour to Petra through the 29th. Travel with us from Caesarea to Nazareth, to the Mount of Beatitudes, to Capernaum, ride a boat on the Sea of Galilee, be baptized in the Jordan River, then to Jerusalem, and walk where Jesus walked from the Mount of Olives to the Via Della Rosa. Israel, Petra, 2009, March 16th through the 25th or 29th. 10 exciting days for 2777. Three-day extension tour to Petra, Jordan for $34.99 from Cincinnati. Your journey includes round-trip airfare, all meals, beautiful hotels, full sightseeing, deluxe motor coaches, and more. Pastor Philip and Debbie's 11th anniversary tour to Israel, 2009, March 16th through the 25th for just $27.77 with a three-day extension to Petra for $34.99. Call today to reserve your seat. When you enter into a baptismal pool at your church, following the commandment of Jesus to be baptized for the remission of sins, we enter into a nice pool of water and the family join around and watch the event. Basically, baptism is just a symbol, a sign of what's taking place in your life in Christ. You, you, you died with Christ and now you're risen to a new life. And it's a wonderful practice, but understand that that practice of baptism is nothing more than a ritual that was adopted from the Jewish people. I'm standing in an ancient ritual bath called a mikvah. Now, right outside the Temple Mount area, the area is literally covered with these ritual baths around the Temple Mount area. The reason being, the Jewish people could not enter into worship. They could not come into the presence of God unless they would ritually clean themselves. Coming into the presence of God, a man must be clean. So the man or the woman would come to this particular ritual bath and he would come down on one side and you can see a little ridge that separates the steps because on one side he comes down unclean. He will enter into the pool of water, pool of living water, running water. He will enter in naked and immerse himself completely under the water and then come back up out of the water and then he's going to come back up on the other side putting on his white robes because now he is clean. Now he can come before the presence of God. It's something that was certainly important to them, and I think it's something that you and I need to understand as importance. We need to be clean before the presence of the Lord. So you may think, well, how can I clean, my, clean myself? And certainly it's not a baptismal pool. It isn't the baptismal pool that cleans you. The Word of God tells us, is, is, tells us it is the blood of Jesus Christ that cleanses us from all sin. Thanks be unto God for the gift of Jesus and what he did for you and I, because now we can come boldly into the throne room of grace and we obtain mercy and help in the time of need, the book of Hebrews tells us. Why? All of because of the blood of Jesus that has cleansed us and made us clean and white, clean and uh, presentable now to the presence of God. 
So it's just something, you know, that you, know, you may have entered into a baptismal pool when you were very young or the, when you were saved years and years ago, and it's not something certainly you have to do on a consistent, continual basis. But it is something that you and I need to remind ourselves that we need to immerse ourselves in the Word of God, immerse ourselves in the presence of God, and daily go before the Lord as He commanded. Lord, forgive me of my sins as I forgive those who sin against me, so that we may be clean before our God. Thanks be unto God for the power of Jesus that has cleansed you and me from all stain of sin. Down the like roller coaster. coaster. Oh I my gosh, this is a lot of fun. What a great so vacation. Much. Every time, huh? Every time. No, no, wait, that's my seat, that's my. Hey, princess, you found a family too. That's great. <laughs> Mom, he's hurting us! Children, please! Oh, no, buddy. Come on. Let's go in the back. I'm sorry. Don't touch my stuff. Don't touch me. Remember, you guys wanted this vacation. Mom, he's pushing us! My space, your space. Welcome home, Nancy. Still paying off your last vacation? <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it be nice to take a vacation that didn't follow you home? Financial Peace University. Learn how to beat debt, build wealth, and live like never before. Get on the road to financial peace with Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University. Free preview at Victory World Outreach Center, Monday, December 1st at 7 o'clock. Call 859-624-3553 for more information. Well, you know, we're waiting for the super duper, whoever he or she is to come by and bring revival or, 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 or preach to my family and yeah, beloved, we are the church, not this, not this building. This is not the church. We are the church. And the world is not going to beat a door to our path and say, preach us the message of Jesus. And the world's not going to go preach the gospel. It's time for the church. Say the church. Say I'm the church. We are the church. It's time for the church to rise. It's time for the church to rise. It's time for the church to begin to do what God ordained it to do, commissioned it to do. Were you here on Friday night and heard that message come on about the power of God and what was the, what was the reason why God sent the Holy Ghost? God, it got, come on, guys. God, we're not talking about a heavenly masseuse here. The Holy Ghost didn't come by just to massage you, make you feel good. He come to give you power. Somebody say power. power. Oh, yes, we need Holy Ghost power. What are you going to do with it? Church been running around with a dynamite stick, no match. It's time that we begin to rise and take our rightful place and we start sharing the gospel of Jesus. Come on, come on. We wanted tongues. What happened to the boldness? I love the message. I love the word. We got to have the boldness. We got to tell some friends. Stop waiting for somebody else to come by. God's sending you. It's time for the church to rise. It's time for the church to rise. It's time for the church to rise. Help us, Jesus. When I'm waiting on somebody else, God. We are alive, filled with your glorious light. Out of the dark, into your marvelous light. Let the church fall to 
our hands, God. Touch our hands, God. Touch our hands, God. My hands are to be found to do the work of the Lord and do all unto the glory of God and do with all my might. God, touch our hands. Credit cards are a way of life in America. Over six billion applications are sent out every year. The average American carries over seven credit cards in their wallet. Those credit cards are accepted all over the world. Let's take a look and see how you are using all this credit. If you want to purchase the latest reading material, just say, charge it. Or that favorite beverage. You're already thousands of dollars in debt. What's another four bucks? You could even use your credit card to make purchases over the internet by simply entering a few numbers. Everyone's doing it. 
Alas, the credit card payment. And while you're paying off this mound of debt, you won't be alone. Do you feel like you're just conforming, following along with everyone else? The Bible tells us the borrower is slave to the lender. Don't conform, transform. Financial Peace will teach you the biblical principles to totally transform your life. Get on the road to financial peace with Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University. Free preview at Victory World Outreach Center, Monday, December 1st at 7 o'clock. Call 859-624-3553 for more information. Join Pastors Philip and Debbie Holman for 10 exciting days on their 11th anniversary tour of Israel 2009, March 16th through the 25th, and extension tour to Petra through the 29th. Travel with us from Caesarea to Nazareth, to the Mount of Beatitudes, to Capernaum. Ride a boat on the Sea of Galilee, be baptized in the Jordan River, then to Jerusalem, and walk where Jesus walked. From the Mount of Olives to the Via Della Rosa. Israel, Petra, 2009, March 16th through the 25th or 29th. 10 exciting days for 2777. Three day extension tour to Petra, Jordan for $34.99 from Cincinnati. Your journey includes round trip airfare, all meals, beautiful hotels, full sightseeing, deluxe motor coaches, and more. Pastor Philip and Debbie's 11th anniversary tour to Israel, 2009, March 16th through the 25th for just $27.77 with a three-day extension to Petra for $34.99. Call today to reserve your seat. Well, I trust that something was sung today or something was said in a teaching or something that just kind of touched your heart. And I pray that God has ministered to you in some supernatural way. We're believing for healing power that God is gonna to touch your body. Many of you have called on the prayer lines and are asking for miracles in your life. God still does miracles today. The Word of God teaches us that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever, out of Hebrews 13 and eight. So we understand that if we see Jesus doing it in the New Testament, healing and delivering people and setting them free and just changing lives, then he's doing the same thing today. Maybe at some time during the broadcast, you felt the power of God just touch you in a certain way and. Maybe you're not ready to meet the Lord. Maybe you've never really truly asked Jesus into your heart and life. You can do that right now, my friend, by simply praying a simple prayer and asking Jesus to enter your heart. He is the Son of God. He is the only way to God. I know there's a lot of religions out there that say there's many ways to God, but Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. And no matter what you've done, no matter what kind of life you live, Jesus is ready to change your life. He's ready to forgive you of every wrong thing that you've ever done. But Jesus is a gentleman. He won't force his way in. He comes by invitation. And if you'd like to pray that prayer with me right now, just a simple prayer of asking God in your life, tonight God will begin to turn your life around. You're gonna to begin to see miracles happen in your life. God can fix every bad situation if you'll just give Jesus your heart. Why don't you pray with me right now? Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I believe that you were crucified and died for my sins. I also believe that you rose from the dead. And because of you, I can be saved. I confess my sins, every wrong thing I've ever done. I confess them all. I blame no one. Come into my life, Lord. Be my Lord and Savior, and I'll live for you forever. I ask this all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, if you prayed that simple prayer and meant it, you really believed it in your heart, and something happened. Maybe you didn't feel anything, but something happened. At that moment, God wiped away every stain of sin in your life, and now you're a child of God. And now you need to be a part of the kingdom of God. Yes, you need to be a part of the kingdom of God by joining a church somewhere, going and being a part of a fellowship, and finding out what you can do in the kingdom of God, because you're on assignment. Jesus is coming again, my friend. Thanks be unto God that you're ready to meet him in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. We're gonna see the return of the Lord. I know you're glad that you're ready. I'd like for you to come and visit with us here at Victory anytime. Come and be with us. We'd love to pray with you. We'd love to just share our heart with you, share Jesus with you. God is awesome this day, and he's changing lives all over this area, and I'm glad that he's changing yours. Thanks be unto God because of what Jesus has done. We can walk in victory every day, and praise God, you're walking in victory now. Now is 
is the ministry broadcast of Victory World Outreach Center in Richmond, Kentucky. If you live or are in the metro area, we invite you to come and worship with us on Sundays at 1030 a.m., Wednesdays at 7, and Saturdays at 7 p.m. Victory World Outreach Center is just off I-75 at exit 90, going north on U.S. 25 Lexington Road, three-tenths of a mile on your left. To learn more about the ministries and events of Victory World Outreach Center, visit us online at www.vwoc.com. For prayer requests or comments, write to us at Victory World Outreach Center, P.O. Box 826, Richmond, Kentucky, 40476, or by email at info at vwoc.com. It's our prayer that you may know the revelation the Word of God teaches about the power that Jesus has given you to walk in victory in every area of your life.